All right, let me come back to my conversation here in studio. I'll introduce my uh, guest this morning, and I'll start with a lady. Thank you very much for joining us, Joy Brendam Devo. She is a me. political analyst. Thank you for joining us, the New Centre. Mm -hmm. We also have Musari Siongo, who is an independent candidate in Langata. Thank you for Thank your you. time. All right, so let's begin from the man who's just from speaking, Wafula Chebukati. Mm -hmm. um, you are asking what the National Prosecution Con Convention is all about earlier on, but aside from that, that. Uh, Wafula Chebukati is a man um, you know, who's dealing with quite a number of issues. One of them is that uh, Raila Odinga says that he will be moving or NASA will be moving to court to challenge Al Gurair company from printing the ballot papers. Where do you stand in that? Does, does that hold any water, him proceeding to court with just 46 days to the election? I mean, I'll start with you, Joy. They've done this before. Mm -hmm. They challenged this last year. Mm -hmm. The matter was prosecuted. The court made a decision. Mm -hmm. The IEBC stopped the process. Mm -hmm started it again. This late in the day, I don't see that it will serve any purpose other than the mischief mm. or the, the nuisance factor. But otherwise, I don't see any court um, stopping the process this late in the day. Primarily because the date for the election is already set in the Constitution. It's not one of those things where we have an option where Parliament can make a decision mm -hmm. or the President can make a decision. Mm. And so where we stand, if you ask me, mm -hmm. the ballot papers is just one little aspect. It's one piece of the puzzle. But there are so many other uh, parts of the puzzle mm -hmm. that are in place and that can be in place to ensure that we have credible elections, mm -hmm. ballot papers notwithstanding. Mm. Because the ballot papers are the tool but the process itself is what will give us either delivering a credible election or not. Okay. So I think this it, it's a um, it's nuisance factor, but I don't see that it will have an effect mm. at the end of the day. But NASA and their supporters are saying that this is sort of like giving uh, Jubilee, whose officials were able to meet with the top, top officials of Al Ghurair, sort of like an advantage. Uh, we don't know what, but you know that's what they're saying, that it should be level playing ground for everybody. Uh, and therefore, this is sort of like um, giving them an edge over them, having met the officials of this company. But that is why Chairman Wabukati mm -hmm. extended an, uh, an invitation mm -hmm. to all the candidates and parties interested to travel to Dubai and get to meet the gentleman and see if it makes any difference at all. Mm. Because at the end of the day, we could even use exercise book papers. But if we are credible in counting, because look at other jurisdictions, mm -hmm. what do they do? You walk up to a ballot stage, like for example, the Britons have just done theirs. Yes. You just walk to the home office, you say who you are. Sometimes if you even have no ID, what's your home address? They take it, your word for it, and you vote in a government office. Mm -hmm. And it's the government officials who will, at the end of the day, announce the election. And nobody says that they're not credible. The question is, are we, there, yes. are we there government. yet, Joy, with no. our past, with everything? No, my, my point mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. you can have ballot papers that are printed by, we can even decide we are printing in, in an annary, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with the ballot papers. But if the rest of the process is flawed, mm -hmm. then we will not deliver a credible election. At this point in time, if I was NASA, mm -hmm. I would be concentrating on ensuring that the other aspects are in place, that we have enough monitors, that we have enough uh, people on the ground to mm -hmm at the telling center, that even the people who are observing know what they're looking for. Tell them this and this is a red flag. Know how to tally the votes, uh, the ballots that have been handed out versus the ones that have been counted. Mm. Do the numbers work? M ensure that the tallings, because the process is long. Okay. Ballot papers, fixation, I don't understand it. Let's, let's, let me hear Siongo's uh, view of this. What is your view? Where do you stand in this? Thank you very much, Betty. Mm. Uh, I want to start by saying that I think I'm a bit... Uh, Intimidated because she's one of my voters. Oh, <laughs> she is. She's I a Langata voter. I don't want voter. to disagree with her too much. <laughs> no, but let's be objective I, I, here. I would have to be a bit firm on a couple of issues. Okay. One, elections in Kenya and Africa, in particular, mm -hmm. have a very high price. Uh, here, it's about life. Mm -hmm. We have 1,500 people we lost uh, at the last election, mm. completely unwarranted. We never should do it again. But it's the processes that cause that kind of tension. Mm -hmm. That's how lives are lost. And so it must be taken very seriously. Elections in Africa are an issue of national security. Uh, being a, an immediate former member of ODM um, in the Brigade of Independence, uh, yes. not voluntarily, mm -hmm. but uh, by <laughs> circumstance. By circumstance. <laughs> by circumstance. Mm -hmm. and, and we're confident about a victory come uh, August 8th. However, whereas, yes, there are very many issues that NASA should be looking at, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they are, those are not mutually exclusive to the process which is being discussed now. And so both of them have to be handled in tandem. Uh, when you're talking about ballot papers, and I think we all know the craft and mischief 
uh, especially the ingenious mischief that we create in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps we are far too intelligent for our own good. But we cannot have ballot papers printed here, that's certainly uh, sure. There will be a five extra batches for voting. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, There's when, no trust completely. Exactly. And when we have the head of state and some other officials having met yes. an institution before mm -hmm. that, then the honorable thing to do is for that institution to either accuse itself or um, the IABC to say, look, we thought you were the best person to do this job, but seeing that you have met one of the parties before, we're going to have to choose uh, number two or number three. Mm -hmm. Now, any tendering process has uh, the first top three yes. listed. Yes. So giving us all these shenanigans and telling us, oh, it's too late, it's going to distract from mm -hmm. the election, mm -hmm. I, I think uh, we, we're reading some mischief mm -hmm. in it, and we're not too far from the truth here. Mm -hmm. Because he has, Chebukati has number two and number three. Mm -hmm. Why can't he issue to number two? All because right. this is what you'd call unwarranted, unwarranted uh, canvassing all right. for any form of tender. But Joyce says that it doesn't matter you know, what the, who prints what. That what matters is really the process, you know, having the, mo like the monitors that she's talking about, sort of like uh, overseeing that whole process. The selection of a printer is a critical part of that entire mm -hmm. process. It's not outside of the process, it's within the process. Um, we don't want to have a situation where the printer is suspected to have had coffee with so-and-so. And whether either party A or mm -hmm. party B loses or wins the election, let us, that, let, let us not allow that to be the excuse for violence. And I think that's the most responsible thing for Chief <coughs> to do. Yeah. We All shouldn't right. allow for mm -hmm. any excuses for violence. And All the right. best thing to do is to listen to both parties. There's tangible evidence on the table that particular uh, principles of one party met with Al Ghurair. Al Ghurair is a formidable institution. It does not only deal in, in printing, it has a, a significant interest in grain handling, mm -hmm. oil production. And uh, I think they're, they're not starving for the, for the, for, for <laughs> for the, for the tender for, uh, in for Kenya. So we can billion. choose number two, we can choose number three mm -hmm. and get on with this. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So let me ask you, Joy, what would be the impact with all these questions? Fine. There are people who say there's no problem with, you know, Algorai taking over this uh, tender. But even the fact that we have people, a section of Kenyans questioning uh, this move by IBC to have this uh, company print the ballot papers, what impact do you think is going to have after August 8th? in case whichever side, uh, and especially the opposition, loses this election. You say that's the problem right there, mm -hmm. is what is the question? You say with the people questioning, mm -hmm. but what is the question? Even if our Gurea went and they had dinner prepared mm -hmm. by Margaret Kenyatta and they went back to Dubai, how exactly does that affect the quality of the ballot papers? This ballot paper has got seven security features. How does it um, affect, um, like he says correctly, it's part of the process, mm. but what chink of the process is it? Mm -hmm. Is it so vital? For example, um, the last elections, the failure of the biometric um, system ensured that the, we had to use the manual yes. tallying. And the, the manual, uh, uh, checking that this is Betty, so we cancel Betty's mm, name. Mm. But now that meant if I didn't get the black stain on my finger, I could go to another polling station and do that. That was a biggie. That was a, a, mm. a, a really major milestone. Mm. This time round, we have Kim's, which when you are identified on the ballot paper, it already says that one voter has been identified. Mm. At the end of the day, even if we don't have the elections, we will know 15 million voters voted. Therefore, if we come and there's ballot stuffing, whatever, and the tally gives us 17 million voters, even I will be saying there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if only 15 million voters were identified, mm -hmm. how come we have 17 million ballot papers? All right. And I will join there. It's not credible brigade. But because we are combining the electronic and the manual, they are checks and balances on each other. So at the end of the day, if you ask me, what is the effect of it? The courts have been very categorical. It's not enough to say that there is a discrepancy. You must relate the discrepancy with the result. Show how this failure caused this result. If you're not able to mm -hmm. show that, then it's not going to go 